what is bit stuffing let's try to understand this topic in our today's video hello everyone welcome to link frequency and i'm ashwarya patta this video is part of a course that is introduction to otisap so without any further delay let's get started In our previous video, we learned about what exactly is error handling mechanism in CAN protocol. In this mechanism, we listed out five different types of error handling, out of which we majorly focused on understanding the bit monitoring in our previous video. So, in this current video, we will try to understand what exactly is bit stuffing. Let's quickly jump onto our screen to understand more about bit stuffing with an example. If a frame has more than 5 consecutive bits of same polarity then insertion of a bit of opposite polarity after the fifth consecutive bit of same polarity is known as bit stuffing bit stuffing helps to maintain synchronization between the transmitting and receiving node of the communication network even though if the data contains long sequence of identical bits then bit stuffing is still useful let's understand what exactly it means The bit stuffing rule states that no more than 5 consecutive bits of the same value that is either all ones or all zeros are allowed in the data field. If 5 consecutive bits of the same value occur, then the transmitter automatically inserts an additional bit of the opposite value to ensure that the data field does not violate the bit stuffing rule. Let's take a simple example. Assume we have a data that is to be transmitted as represented on the screen. In the data you could observe there are consecutive same values that is either ones or zeros the consecutive values are highlighted for understanding purpose if we try to send the same data over the can bus then it will indicate a stuff error so the data must be taken care in order to transmit properly on the can bus this can be done by adding additional bits of opposite polarity after every fifth consecutive same value moving on let's see how exactly it works The data is taken bit by bit as shown until and unless it encounters a more than 5 consecutive same values. You can observe there are more than 7 consecutive values of 1 on the data. This situation is taken care by transmitter. After encountering the 5th consecutive value as indicated, the transmitter handles this by adding the bit of opposite polarity after the 5th consecutive same value. The added bit is not thing but the stuff bit that is of the opposite polarity. Since all the data was of value 1, we are adding the stuff bit as 0. After the addition of the stuff bit, the further data is considered as usual in the next location. The screen represents the flow of the data that is to be considered. This process continues as long as it encounters a similar or same situation. Now you can observe there are more than 5 consecutive zeros. Hence in this location after the fifth consecutive zero an additional stuff bit is added which is of opposite polarity that is in this case it will be value 1 after the addition of the stuff bit the further data is taken as usual until and unless the same pattern is repeated or encountered after the completion of adding the stuff bit to the transmitter data now the data is ready to be sent over the can bus the process so far we followed is known as bit stuffing Now let's start look at the receiver side how exactly the destuffing happens over the receiver end the data from the transmitter is received and the data is considered bit by bit in the destuffing after the fifth consecutive value if there is an opposite polarity then that bit is removed or eliminated after the removal of the bit the further data is taken until and unless it encounters a similar situation that is five consecutive same values The demo of how exactly it happens is represented in the order for the reference. After the destuffing, we get back the original data that is received from the transmitter. So overall you can see that on the receiver side, the receiver automatically removes the stuffed bits and processes the original data correctly. After all this process, now you might be thinking why exactly bit stuffing was necessary. Well, the bit stuffing plays important role because of certain reasons. Firstly, synchronization bit stuffing helps maintain synchronization between the transmitting and the receiving nodes in a can network all the nodes share the same communication medium and the message can be transmitted by any node at any time without bit stuffing long sequence of the same bits that is either all ones or all zeros could cause the receiving node to lose synchronization with the sender's bit clock 
By inserting extra bits, bit stopping ensures that there are frequent transitions in the data stream, helping the receiver stay synchronized and correctly interpret the data. The second point is error detection and data integrity. Bit stuffing improves error detection by preventing ambiguous bit patterns. If there were no bit stuffing, certain bit patterns might be misinterpreted as control flags or frame delimiters, leading to data corruption or incorrect frame identification. With bit stuffing, the likelihood of such misinterpretation is reduced, thus enhancing the data integrity. Overall, bit stuffing is important for proper functioning of CAN network, especially in the environment where there can be high data traffic and multiple nodes trying to communicate simultaneously. By employing bit stuffing, CAN ensures that the data is transmitted accurately and consistently across all the nodes. This indirectly improves the reliability and efficiency of communication in automotive and industrial applications. So this video was all about understanding what exactly is bit stuffing in CAN protocol. We also understood this particular topic with the help of an example. Thank you so much for watching our video content. If there are any queries related to the video, you can surely comment down in the comment section. Until we meet on our next video, happy learning. Tune yourself to make a difference.